poles out of the ground by ourselves and uh, attach them to a Toyota pickup truck to make the thing look like some kind of Syrian missile launcher. Uh, normally it would be a six-wheel beef monster that carries this stuff, but uh, we don't go that route. We got all the stuff out, 30-foot poles. I think we'll have the pictures pretty soon on the, the internet. So I went through all that phase. I think as a lot of people know, I went blind right in the middle of it. Uh, so I had to recover from that. Uh, fortunately, one eye stopped going blind, but the other one went blind completely. But at any rate, the advanced seismic warning thing is progressing. Uh, I am not, was unable to participate in it physically towards the last part, being unable to walk, but Justin picked up on most of it, and I crawled around and hobbled and did all the drilling and all that. So we have our 30 cross arms up, which we had to pull down out in Death Valley, uh, out in the middle of nowhere, and then drag them like thousands of feet to get them on the truck, and getting the truck and the car through all the washes and everything was its own interesting adventure, but really led us to a lot of fantastic places to live and beautiful scenery. So it was quite an enjoyable experience, and I didn't go blind on that route. So I'm satisfied with it, and everybody else seems satisfied. And uh, once the heat goes away, we expect to put our wire up and uh, do some makeshift grounds and put a rack of equipment in our terminal building. And by December, we'll be connected to the Earth. Whether it decides to make sounds or not is indeterminate. The Earth doesn't do what you want. It does what it wants, so that, you know, might not be doing anything then. But at least we can show what the beginning system looks like. So everything's on schedule, which is good. It's slow, it's on schedule. Uh, I hope I live to see its completion. Okay. Any questions? Okay. Um, so um, on Eric's side, again, there is a uh, PayPal donation button and you can do, there's a website for the 501C3 C3. Nonprofit Corporation. And uh, Justin, who Eric mentioned is, um, uh, his partner, who actually does a lot of the work out in the field, but he also happens to be the secretary and treasurer um, of, of the organization, and uh, kind of stretched a little bit thin trying to do both those jobs. And so, hopefully, we have enough people to fill those kind of positions, so Justin can just focus on what he's good at. Um, these videos, um, when they're going to be available, uh, Phil, uh, operating the cameras, um, and myself will get together, and hopefully, here in about couple weeks we'll be releasing them maybe one one presentation every five to seven days or so um, and you know you'll see the emails when those are coming out and uh, if there's no more questions I guess that's about it well and one so, thing I'll point out is I'm going to uh, take take the notes from this and uh, and do a like a 50 page or whatever book out of it and this presentation with its pictures will come out probably as a book here in uh, probably a couple months or whatever. I got like several books pending, so. Um, now on the... Uh, what about just uh, scanning the slides and putting that in the video? Well, the, 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 or the uh, PowerPoint will be included with the video presentation. Um, recently, uh, Eric's Versor Algebra book, um, that first part that was released, really is one big book, but that's the first section. The se second section is actually done. Um, before Eric leaves town, if, if we're able, we have to go through that, make sure it's all good. There's a certain kind of math notation, custom font we had to get created, so we have to figure out how to get the program to recognize that, but we're gonna be releasing that pretty soon. Um, uh, as soon as, um, also a couple months ago when Eric has, was at my place, we went through the Lone Pine Writings book, the first one, made a few edits and everything, and so as soon as a little bit of time is freed up, that one is actually going to be uploaded to Amazon, so that will be the first one available on paperback. Will be the Lone Pine, uh, the first one, and we plan to do that with the rest. It's just time, you know. It's just a process. So, anything else you want to? Uh, I think that's it. You have a question? Um, on some of the older stuff, you say go back to the old documents and. Um, there's this stuff that this guy Keeley supposedly did about the same 1870s, 1880s, where yeah, he was looking at the resonance stuff. Yeah, it tends to be stuff. mythology without any definites. So it's the same idea. But it's the same uh, stuff same with the, the power coming out of the resonant tones like with music. 
Yeah. And um, now the, the only the only thing where it appears to be it was not done energetically, and then it's another it's another myth is lead skeleton and his levitation of the rocks. So that's uh, you have one thing you know where there is a, is a power involved of like sounds or something, and on all those little different watts add up to a kilowatt. But then there's another thing of directly acting on the ether and not using any energy at all and affecting the power. The power affects the matter directly without the energy. So you have one situation or the other. So lead skillen would be the situation where there is no energy. It's a direct action where the, uh, the keely would be the powers add up. But then both of those are myths without any definition. So I could just be blowing smoke out my rear end, trying to say anything about it. So I, I tend to stay away from those neighborhoods if I can. But that's how it would work out. Well, that's all something to be experimented with. So you can go ahead and start. <laughs> OK, I guess I can sit down now. Yeah. Can you, yeah. can you explain the physics of the Tibetan rocks rolling? I just did. OK, can you ready to take this? Yeah, there's a button on the bottom. OK, okay well, thank you, everybody. Um, thanks for making the journey out to the conference. Hope you had fun. And uh, we'll look forward to it uh, next year.